All right, guys, we're doing something a little different today. We are in the Oculus um, home instead of the Steam VR home. Um, let me get out of this real quick. It's been a while since I've been in here. I couldn't really find a way to record the Oculus games without uh, without uh, having issues. And before, when I was using AirLink, I was having a lot of distortion. Things didn't look right. Um, everything was compressed and blocky and just didn't work too well. I don't know why I have audio coming through my TV. Hold on, give me a second. Give me a second, guys. I think I have audio coming through my TV and, and my, uh, there we go. Gonna have to figure that out later, but as you can see, I've been playing around. Uh, I know there's stuff I can add, and apparently, stuff that I alter in here uh, stays changed. But there's golf balls, you know, all kinds of stuff. Let's see if I can pick this up again. Got to point at it. Or okay, there we go. Just a neat little, neat home area. I've actually played around more in this home than I have in the Steam one. But uh, Airlink decided all of a sudden it was going to run correctly. So today we're going to be playing some of the games that I've bought on the Oculus Quest that I can play on uh, play through the Oculus Store on my computer. So and now I can record it in higher detail. So let's see what we got. No, that's my desktop. Library. So we have a few neat options. Uh, I thought today we would try out an educational game or app or whatever. And I've heard some good things about it. Uh, we'll see exactly how great it is because the main thing, it's not necessarily the games. You know, the games is a big part of VR and, you know, it's fun to play around and be immersed in a world. But the opportunities for education and people learning with hands-on experience as close to hands-on experience as they can get without actually spending the money and going through all the hassle of finding you know in this case an engine to fix or a car to build or something like that um the the opportunities for vr to come into the educational space and just change change the landscape is pretty high but we're going to try this demo I just bought. I've heard of Wrench before. I almost thought about, almost got the game, but uh, they have a demo. I just noticed that today when I was looking to have a demo for uh, Wrench. So, whoa. Why are you back there? All right, guys. Yeah, they have a demo for us to try. We're going to try the demo out today. I don't know how long it's going to last. Welcome We're making this one now. Building demo. When you are ready to begin, move to the workbench and pick up oh, the crap. tablet. You can switch between teleportation and smooth locomotion by clicking the thumbstick. Oh. Okay. I'm really slow, though. This tablet is the primary interface for Wrench. The tablet is used in combination with the parts scanner. Pick up the parts scanner and then scan one of the suspension parts to your left. You this can is already return looking to really this realistic. screen by navigating to the tutorial app found on the home screen. I've done some work on my vehicles. Uh, never any major Scanning engine parts. Scanning a part on. launches the inspector app. This app contains part information, visual wear reference, and part install instructions. Use these suspension parts to practice assembly. Okay. Oh, okay. Yep, this is the controller arm, ball joint. What is this one? Pushing. 
Yeah, I'm already liking this already. These are detailed parts like this. Yeah. If wrench has everything to do with a car, I'm most definitely buying it because I can go play around in this and then go out to my car and then do it, which I know a lot of you are saying, well, no, it's not going to be that simple. But I uh, want to make sure I'm facing you guys. So am I supposed to, am I supposed to install this? Is it giving me a diagram? So, this, no, I'm going to. screen, release the grip button and the part will snap into place. If you are having trouble installing a part, double check that you are not attempting to install the part backwards. If a part turns red, the part cannot be installed until prerequisite conditions are met. Ensure no other parts are installed that may block installation. Some parts need to be slid into place along a linear track. Carefully slide these parts into place. When all four parts are installed, press next to advance the demo. Do I need a wrench? <laughs> oh, no. no. I don't need a wrench yet. I have a feeling that I'm not doing something right. Uh, there's something about the part should snap into place. Or, is that right? No, no, no. Oh, okay. And then this bolt goes in yeah, in here. And then it lets me slide it in. It locks into place so I can slide it in without my hand twitching all over the place. What am I doing wrong here? Do I need to oops? Come on. I'm gonna turn green. Or did I get it mixed up? Oh, okay. One's in there. All right. Uh, I can't remember what they said. All right. Where's the? What did I do with the part scanner? something I can pull out over my shoulder. Oh. All right, it is completed. What's in here? Tablet, funnels. That's convenient. Lights and is this cancel? I can bring it up on both hands. All right, well, I assume we're gonna have to go over here. I'm sure I'll figure it out eventually. Oh, there we go. Move to fastener area. Is that over here? Or probably over here, ain't it? Probably gonna need, as of right now, this one. Install 
bolts or do I need to all right I don't know yet like something screws onto there. I don't really see anything that's ready for bolts though. I mean I'll be the first to admit I haven't done this part on my vehicle before. So I wouldn't be able to or am I supposed to fool around with this? Oh okay. Ah what I figured. That's what I thought. This is a little weird because you know I don't hold a bolt like that. There we go. That's how I'd probably hold a bolt. This is so neat. So far I mean it depends on how but if, if that is to go by anything it's gonna be very uh, interesting. Okay, now where is that? Did it despawn? De Let's get a ratchet. Oh, it just automatically puts the. Automatically puts the right size on there for me. So I don't have to go hunt a tool down. Wait. No, oh, that's the right way. There we go. Let's round it out. Let's round it all. Yeah, let's get it so tight that we break it. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I guess it won't let me do that. All right, and it's gonna magically, yep. realistic enough though I should go I should have to go and hunt for tools all right I'm gonna tighten this one down That is not a 16. Did it? Has it said it's all 16? That's not a 16. Or is that the torque? I guess that would be the torque. It would help though if it told you what size bolts they were, these were. So. All right. I installed the bolts. Press the B button to open the tool inventory and grab a smart ratchet. I already did that. Was I supposed to? Smart ratchets come in three sizes. Tool length through flex leverage. Use large tools for large bolts and small tools for small bolts. Fasteners yeah. can break when severely over torqued. Ah. Using an oversized tool will make it easier to accidentally break a bolt. As you tighten the fastener, you will feel the controller haptics building. This provides an additional sensation of tension on the fastener. I want to break it. Let's take this massive one. Come on, snap it. 50 pounds of torque that thing has to snap. Let, let's let's do this one. You broke a fastener. A there we go. Replacement is waiting for you at the part spawning pad. Ah, it automatically makes replacements. I'm glad I did that. Ah, oh, but I'm gonna have to do it again. Let's 
So does this let me tighten faster? No, I need a power tool for that. I'm glad I broke a bolt though, that was interesting. I don't I don't even have to take the old bolt out. Alright. Uh, yeah, all the bolts are installed. Maybe I just need to. Your smart yeah. ratchet functions okay. as a three in one tool a ratcheting socket wrench, an electric nut runner, and a torque wrench. Up and down on the analog stick toggles tighten and loosen direction. Left and right oh. stick adjust the torque wrench setting. The small screen on the tool displays the torque wrench set point in newton meters. That's the cool. analog trigger operates the electric nut runner. In the yeah. forward direction, the nut runner will stop as soon as the bolt is seated. You must torque the bolt manually. Install a bolt in each of the locations at the fastener test That's station. Cool. All right. The nut runner provides 25 newton meters of torque in the reverse direction. This is enough to remove many small bolts. Break larger fasteners free by hand and then use the nut runner to quickly remove them. When removing bolts with the electric nut runner, keep the trigger held. The motor will cut out when the fastener is fully loosened, and the fastener will remain attached to the tool until you release the trigger. This allows you to remove and drop the bolt with the tool instead of needing to grab it with your hand. After completing this step, press the next tutorial button to begin the engine assembly cool. tutorial. That is very, very cool. I guess I'll retort that one. So we need the Big ratchet. Oops. There we go. Get it loosened. Okay. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, now it's time for the engine. This should be interesting. Prepare the block for the crankshaft. Ensure that the oil squirters <laughs> and block side bearings are all in place before installing the crankshaft. Okay. Take extra care when tightening the bolts. These are critical fasteners. Use the highlight parts button to help locate required parts for each assembly phase. To get detailed install instructions and see diagrams of where the parts go, use the parts scanner. Finish the assembly phase by installing the rear main seal plate and oil pump. Okay. Wow. <laughs> Crankshaft. Okay. That is... I've dealt with the crankshaft position sensor. I've never really messed with the crankshaft. That's the whole engine block. Pistons. Crank, crankshaft. Alright, well... Okay. That over there. Okay. Oil pump, main bearing. Okay. Install. Well, the pistons over there, they weren't highlighted. Yeah. Oh, wait, no, it's highlighting something over there. think I can grab the part scanner rest bearings it looks complicated and I actually prefer it that way because that hopefully means it's more realistic
Oh, uh, scroll down. I'm done. Scroll down. Scroll down. It's. Hmm. Uh. Nope. It's not really letting me. Maybe something in the way. Why is it not letting me scroll? Oh, oh well. I, f uh, I guess I'll figure it out later. Or. Ah! Hyper realistic. Okay. So. It looks like I'm putting stuff into the engine block. So. Oh, Lord. Okay. Oh, it's giving me the time. Can I go go back? Yeah, tutorial. All right, just replay. Prepare there. the block for the crankshaft. Ensure that the oil squirters and block side bearings are all in place before installing the crankshaft. Uh, the Take block. extra care when tightening the bolts. These are critical fasteners. Use the highlight parts button to help locate required parts for each assembly phase. To get detailed install instructions and see diagrams of where the parts go, use the parts scanner. Finish the assembly phase by okay. installing the rear main seal plate and oil pump. Okay. Really? Go. It's like deep. They, ah, okay. Ah. So. These go. What's that? Ah, okay. Okay. so cool and then yeah I like this I like the diagram this is so cool Thing is, is I hope the only thing that would kind of deter me from getting this is um, if there isn't a large variety of large variety of vehicles. Sorry, I'm just getting getting immersed and lost in this. How would you you wouldn't use a wrench on this? Because how do you you'd have to put a power tool down in there probably. I'm so glad I found out about the about the uh, automatic button because I would hate to. Them all up. See, that one wasn't that tight. Alright. Alright. Make sure they're all tight. There we go. Oil squirters are installed. Alright. Now let's go back. Where? Okay. Well. So 
So what what goes in first? Okay, it looks like these go in. Is that really all the? There's nothing on this side. There's a hole right there. Oh, maybe not. Maybe something else goes in there. Maybe it'll be the crankshaft. All right, so I need these. Yeah. I'm building an engine, guys. Oop, no, no, no. You know, if everything was all shiny, new, no rust, or anything, I'm sure it would be this easy. And then those, what's like those, these parts go just on the second one for some reason. I'm sure there's a reason behind it. Okay. thing I don't like is stuff just disappearing so I think these go after I've installed yeah wait am I supposed to no I don't put that on haven't I Yeah, I've done put... Why is it telling me to do it again? Yeah, I already put that on there. Thrust bearings. Unless there's something else I'm supposed to do with the thrust bearing. Uh. Okay. So I think I put this on now. Uh. Yeah, I like this. Okay. Yep. Oh, I can. Do I need to rotate it a certain way? This will spin anyway, I think. Yeah. All right. It's like I'm actually here, guys. Nope. Nope. Still will not let me do it. It's all there. What? Why do I got to do that first? <laughs> Whatever. I figured it out. Things had physics about along what okay. And then probably yep.
Doesn't really give me a lot of detail as to the torque specs. Yeah, it doesn't it doesn't say anything about it, so I'm just gonna tighten it as much as I can with a smaller one. I would say, hey, you know, it's in the engine, therefore it probably needs to be torqued a lot more, but you know, I don't know. So all that is done. Uh, oh, that was cool. I think. Cranks. I need to install these. Move this closer. Oh, okay. And it gives you oh, plus or minus 20% day. That's cool. That is very cool. Alright, install the crankshaft before installing the oil pump. So... Okay. That didn't look like it was highlighted though last time. Uh, just not yet. What? <laughs> Start the engine. Okay. So I think this is going to go over. Yep. Okay. And then. Yeah, we'd probably. Not really. I would assume that this goes. Maybe it's backwards. Let me pick up the whole thing and see. Let's see. Punch here. Oh! This. Okay. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, that doesn't look like it matches. Oh, wait. Yeah, it does. Had it backwards. Well, let me guess. I'm going to have to... Yeah, I'm going to have to install it first. And then... Yep. Uh... Main retainer still saying okay no that ain't right I saying I need this I need this for something uh, I don't know rear main oh the rear See, I can do it all by myself. Did I mention how cool this was? <laughs> I mean, I'm going to have to do more research because if they only have one vehicle, that's a different story. forgotten about the bolts okay two so I have three bigger ones hold on let me make sure I can't just put any 
bolt into the hole first. All right, I can't, so I guess that means I was right. Okay, so the bigger ones go into the bigger hole. And I think it's hard to tell with the diagram. This one, okay. The smaller ones, there's no, is that not a bolt hole? Maybe something else goes there later. Okay. Now, is there a hose that, yeah, there we go. That runs along the top. Hell freaking yeah. point it said something about torquing to a certain I don't I need to install info I don't want to just guess Is it? Wow, there's a reflection on my hand. Okay. There's a part that tells me uh, it says I've done it, but there's a I gotta tighten everything. What did I install? There we go. So this is the, yeah, this is the oil pump on this side. I believe. Six bolts. Four bolts. This is this is the side. Okay. Tighten them to twenty two. Plus or minus 20%. So, yeah. Oh, this isn't what needs to be torqued, but whatever. I'll do it anyway.
Dang, I, I really don't like holding it that way. So I guess if that click and it coming off equals it's torqued all the way. Oops. Never mind. I was about to say then be impossible to over torque something, but my bad, I guess I was wrong. So I'm gonna assume that it's torqued. Okay. Uh, I did those bolts. Now I just need to. Do these. an engine it's that simple guys <laughs> okay I think I tightened everything down yeah okay next slide the piston and rod assemblies into the block from above a piston ring compressor will automatically spawn at each cylinder install the rod caps and tighten the rod nuts with precision the rod nuts are the most important fastener in the engine. Let's get a highlight. Okay. Install the pistons. Oh. Oh. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> Getting real technical here. Piston should it be pre-assembled. Yeah, the crankshaft's already installed. Okay. Where's the little pigtail looking things. Are they already in there? I guess they are already in there. Okay. Am I missing something? Where is that part? anything oh well so is it pre-assembled <laughs> looks like it's pre-assembled then yeah it looks like it's Pre-assembled, but I'm gonna go ahead and do this part then. Yeah, I can do that part. Now this probably gonna go down into the engine. Make sure first. Well, I don't see any place where it could go down. It says pre-assemble it, so I guess I'm going to pre-assemble it. Oops. 
something's red. Anyone who has more experience, here, I'm gonna just I'm gonna use my anti gravity, whatever. Yeah, I'm gonna do it like this. Anyone who is more familiar with uh, working on vehicles than I am, please let me know how how uh, accurate this is, I guess. I'm very interested in educational um, games like this and the more accurate the better. There's a lot of uh, anatomy stuff coming out here recently. But my guardian is saying I'm getting close to something. I hope I don't hit anything. I don't even know where you guys are at this point. Where am I at? I don't know. Okay, then uh, I guess we gotta uh, tighten these. lower this down back to 16 it's not telling me how tight it needs to be but oops All right. hope I'm doing this right That's done. Yeah. So I take all right, it's saying something isn't right. There's something I was supposed to ins no? That'd be kind of counterintuitive. If I do that, then how am I going to... Pistons should be pretty simple with their ring. The crankshaft and, yeah, it's installed. Connecting rod is in there, unless I done something wrong by accident. Yeah, it's showing red. I mean, I would assume that that doesn't, but I have no way to get to, I just punch away a chunk of the engine. Slide the piston and rod assemblies into the block from above. A piston ring compressor will automatically spawn at each cylinder. Install the rod caps and tighten the rod nuts with precision. The rod nuts are the most important fastener in the engine.
I am at a loss. Oh yeah, something's supposed to... S ah! Maybe? I mean... That's kind of... There's no way that you would do this in real life, though. That kind of... Takes away the realism. Let me see. Let's see what happens. Yeah, now it's going to let me do it, but... How do I... Feel, uh, maybe I've done something wrong. <laughs> Naturally, yeah, I'll just, just do all this at once. I mean, obviously, I can't take the crankshaft out. That ends up being the case. I may just call it there, guys. Because that'll be... Oops. That'll be a lot of work. Yep. Oh. I'm, okay. I guess there are certain places I can go lower than others. I guess that would make sense. Alright, well, I just, yeah. I'm gonna have to. Take this off? I guess I am. I, okay, why am I? It's kind of counterintuitive. Because otherwise I would have left the thing off. <laughs> Thank goodness I can do that. I guess. These nuts are very important. That's what they said. I'm glad it does some of the more tedious stuff for me. this engine, which it looks like we're getting... We're getting, kind of getting there. I want to complete the engine before I head out. This is a neat demo, though. Okay. Now I'm going to put this back there. What? Slide the piston and rod assemblies into the block from above. A piston ring compressor will automatically spawn at each cylinder. Install the rod caps and tighten the rod nuts with precision. The rod nuts are the most important fastener in the engine. I did all that. That is done. Oh, what?
I don't, I must have pulled this somewhere by accident. This looks like something that goes on the bottom of the... Oh. <laughs> oh man. I have no idea where I pulled this from. It's definitely... bolts oh yeah it goes right here why did it pull that are you kidding me you can't be freaking serious why would it even allow you to do that something without even taking the bolts off but I gotta take the bolts off to put it back on that makes no sense to me okay are we done yeah install the windage tray oil pickup and remaining oil seals before installing the oil pan also install the oil cooler, oil filter, oil drain plug, and dipstick to complete this phase. Alright guys, I might do that and then call it here. Um, maybe I'll pick up tomorrow on this demo, because this may end up being a two-parter because there's a lot of stuff to do. Okay. Oil pan. doesn't help me that looks like a train thing yeah I understand that oil cooler oh oil cooler filter goes on the oil cooler is this so usually pistons drain plug oh wait if I point at a specific bolt it tells me to uh, I almost said twerk it Tur uh, torque it <laughs> Okay, that's not exactly helping me. Yeah, it zoomed in. Maybe, maybe it goes in this slot up here. I was right. No. Mm -hmm. See, I'm getting to the point where it's going to start just taking things off that I don't want to take off. Yeah, that, that ain't going to be it.
I've changed oil before. I don't remember seeing. Let's go ahead and put the bolts on this so it doesn't just uh dang that's a lot of bolts. They're like an auto put the bolts in button. So because I have been torquing everything to spec, it's probably gonna leak and break. That'd be interesting, wouldn't it? Grabbing things is a little weird. You gotta point at it instead of you know physically grabbing it. I don't know how much I like that. suck is if this recording since I'm doing it on oculus mirror if uh okay Re <laughs> yeah a whole bunch of bolts did not register as being in the thing Why is it letting me? Trying to see a specific part. Or is it being in there for some reason? Anyone want to take a guess on if this engine would work? Placing an oil pan doesn't seem that bad. I'm le actually learning quite a bit from this. Anything on the back side I need to replace? Or tighten down? No. Okay. Oil cooler. Yeah, that doesn't look right. It's like it's already been... Yeah, okay. 
or not. Yeah, that's not right. And this would make the most sense, but maybe... Oh. Maybe. Yeah, okay. Forgot about the sides. Uh oh, where's that nut at? Where's that nut? I lost it. Oh wait, it's in the table. Thank goodness I found it. just I mean I know I can't use a ratchet on it I'm used to yeah so I guess it's that's considered hand tight and then the drain plug bolt definitely don't need that big of a wrench Alrighty. <clears throat> uh, I'm so I got two more bolts. It probably goes here. Oh, neither of them go here. to 10 if I can find where they go no that's not right because this is for the oil pan Got something. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Oh no! I just realized this. <laughs> Missing a gasket, and I would have to take the whole oil pan off, and that is not going to happen. Uh, that sucks. There's no way I'm taking this oil pan off after I put all them bolts in. So we are going to, what we'll probably do is go about our business like normal and we'll see what the results are from a missing gasket. See how realistic those results are. Oh, is that it? Yeah, I found it. Imagine having to find all this in a real situation. This would drive me freaking nuts. Cause I don't, I mean, this may be how it's done. Oh, you can see it turning. Oh, that's cool. Oh. Um, Maybe it wasn't that big of a deal because uh, it let me continue. Uh, okay. 
Is there something I'm missing? Is it not going to let me continue? Unless I do that? Man, that freaking sucks. Well, guys, what I'll probably do is I'm going to call the video here. I'll get back on here eventually. And I'll take everything off that I just did. And I'll put that back on. So... It sucks. All right, guys, where are you? Calling it a day. All right, guys, I'll see you later. Bye bye.